ACID's Processor Control Test, or PCT, is one of a set of integrated tools that run on the ScanWorks platform for embedded instruments. This movie demonstrates the features and operation of PCT for use in the non-intrusive validation, test and debug of a wide range of processor-based boards. The PCT hardware used for this demo is the LAN or WAN-based RIC1000 controller, which allows remote diagnostics, and the unit under test includes an FPGA and a PowerPC processor. PCT supports a wide range of processors, including Intel, Freescale, AMD and ARM varieties. For more information on PCT's method of operation, applications, alternative hardware configurations, licensing options, and the numerous PCT benefits over traditional probe-based test methods, please see our PCT Overview movie, which is also on our website. The PCT interface has three modes of operation. Interactive mode allows direct interaction with a board's processor, memory, and I.O. device registers without the use of an automated test script. This is useful in board prototyping, board bring-up, and failure diagnosis. Developer mode is where test scripts are created and optional fault diagnosis guidance for operators is implemented. Test script creation is greatly simplified by the built-in Automatic Test Generator, or ATG. All low-level protocols and rewrite procedures are handled by function calls in the powerful TSL scripting language. Many of the high-level scripting commands, such as the RAM bus test, perform multiple functions in a macro-like fashion, reducing test development effort. Operator mode is used to run pre-written test scripts in manufacturing environments. So let's start by looking at the interactive mode functions that form the building blocks for automated test scripts. The interactive diagnosis of a non-booting board might start with the CPU signals test to check for correct signal levels around the CPU. A BSDL file for the CPU can be imported to provide the correct pin configuration automatically, and correct pin levels can be learned from a known good board. Having established that the CPU signals are correct, the next step could be to verify the boot ROM connectivity and contents. The boot ROM bus test checks the integrity of the address and data bus connections and reports any shorts or stucks high or low. The ROM checksum test verifies the contents of the boot ROM or other firmware. If this proves to be incorrect, the flash programming utility can be used to reprogram individual sectors or the complete device. If the board still fails to boot, various RAM tests can be run on memory. Address and data bus tests are performed for every memory cell within the specified range. Alternatively, reads and writes can be made to individual memory locations. Blocks of memory can be dumped. Memory ranges can be filled with a given value and then read back for verification. This is useful to check DRAM refresh, for example. The I.O. access tools are intended mainly for Intel-based UUTs, but the Find PCI Devices function can be used on a PowerPC-based UUT that implements a PCI controller. The Stimulus option is used to inject a continuously looping pattern of high and low bits onto data and or address buses. This allows a failure to be located precisely by use of an oscilloscope to see where the injected signal becomes corrupted. The Macro option allows a set of functions to be automated. A macro could be used, for example, to disable a watchdog on the UUT to prevent it from resetting or powering down the board during tests. Now we'll move to developer mode where TSL scripting commands are assembled to allow fully automated board test and debug. Normally this process begins by running the automatic test generator on a known good board to identify the devices on it and then automatically create a suitable test script. It does this by reference to the built-in library of device initialization profiles adapting these to match the board's configuration. ATG built tests provide good basic coverage. Additional manual scripting can extend the ATG built test to provide maximum device coverage. 
When the test generation has completed, we can go to the script editor and switch to graphic mode to view the simplified block diagram that has been created by the ATG. If we now run the test script in the execute mode of the script editor, we will see the progress of the tests. Failing blocks are highlighted in red, which on this known good board identifies where the final script adjustments need to be made for this particular board design. Switching to text mode allows us to see the full feedback from the tests. The ATG generates a boot ROM test, which includes a checksum. The checksum value is initially set to zero, so we need to copy the actual value from the test results into the ATG generated script. The ATG assumes that all ports provided by I.O. controllers are fully implemented, which is not always the case. For example, the built-in library descriptions of the serial and Ethernet controllers on this UUT indicate to the ATG that they are able to support two ports each. However, only one of each of these ports is implemented on this UUT, so we need to delete the other two tests to prevent the script failing. After making these simple adjustments to the generated script, it will now pass on this known good board and can be used to test other UUTs of the same design. I can simulate a failure by removing the loopback connector from the Ethernet port. PCT provides extensive feedback to assist in diagnosing failures. This can even include component level guided fault isolation or GFI, which uses board schematics and CAD layout files to highlight failing components and nets in order to simplify the repair procedure. If GFI is required for a specific test script, the board's netlist is imported. All components and nets are then listed in the component manager. Component types can be filtered to simplify the list. In this case, I'm displaying only ICs. The PCB CAD layout file is also specified. Then the individual test routines, such as the serial port test, are opened in the script editor. In the coverage and diagnostics tab, any components that will be verified by this test are assigned to it. So I'll search for U21, which is the serial port IC, and assign it to this test. Its pins and related nodes are displayed, and these can be individually defined as being tested or not. We can view this component in the schematic file to see any other related passive components that we may also want to assign to this test. Test developers can make this coverage and diagnostics reporting as granular as they wish, assigning every single component that is verified by a specific test. In this short demo, I've only assigned the relevant ICs to three of the tests. I'll now run the test script in operator mode with the loopback connector still removed from the Ethernet port to generate a failure. Selecting component mode in the results window shows me the failing U24 IC that I associated with the Ethernet test. For repair purposes, I can locate this IC on the board by viewing the PCB layout file. If I had associated more components with this Ethernet test, they would also have been listed here, and their likelihood of causing this failure would have been indicated to the repair technician. Another advantage of assigning components to tests is that a coverage report can be displayed. This is available as pie charts of tested components and pins, a detailed analysis, and a list of unassigned components. Although the complete board is being tested by this script, the reported coverage is low because it's only based on the three components I assigned to the tests. In order to obtain accurate coverage reporting, all components that are verified by the test script need to be assigned. There are many labor-saving features in PCT that can't be fully covered in this short demo. For example, the Learn utility in Developer Mode allows a board's boot sequences to be learned and then converted into a test routine. PCT is a unique and powerful tool for non-intrusive board validation, test and debug. Please contact us for a more detailed demonstration of PCT's features and benefits.